All right, y'all, welcome back. It's Albert LaBelle, and the lock we got this time is one of those sliding door locks. Now, don't get any ideas, you naughty boys and girls out there. <laughs> uh, if you see a lock like this in one of those uh, anti-theft cabinets, like at your local Walmart or other stores, um, yeah, don't get any ideas. Honestly, the one that's uh, that I've seen recently on the anti they put small pocket size things you know that people are more likely to steal in those cabinets and then they'll use a, a sliding door lock like this they kind of work like that right there it just prevents you from sliding the doors open and, and putting small things in uh, your pockets and whatnot uh, you can see the package is already open because I was just fixing to uh, do this video and my battery conked out on me so I had to replace the battery, so that's why we're already open. But anyways, yeah, not not the uh, uh, best of locks on this. The one at my local Wally World honestly has a better cylinder in it. I noticed it recently. I can't help but notice locks nowadays when I'm walking through stores or wherever I'm at. But yeah, uh, don't get any ideas. Uh, bad ideas. So this one, obviously it works, like I said. This would go on the back sliding glass and then this lock right here will prevent the front part of the glass from sliding open the sliding door and uh as long as this door pushes this up against the uh glass real good so there's no room to deal with this ratcheting part right there it should be fine but i don't put much stock into the cylinder on this one looks like uh one two three four five wafer according to the key so you put the key in, wait for lock, rotate it counterclockwise to open it, and then they would give you the item out of there, and then they would put this back on. So again, slide it tightly up against the glass, so you can't mess with that ratcheting part, although it is hidden in there pretty good. You'd have to have something really skinny and, to get up in there, and you'd have to have enough room to slide this back over it to bring it back, so that's not likely. But this wafer cylinder. Don't put too much stock into that. And it feels really, really cheap. But if you look right here, made in China. So, yeah. Oh, and this was about nine bucks from my local Lowe's home improvement store. So let's see what it takes to pop this puppy. So this one rotates to counterclock. Oh, that's hard too. Okay, that might be a doozer, but let's try it anyway. Let me just grab, uh, let's grab this dude, maybe. It's going to be hard to turn, so I need something thick. Let's try that. Let me just grab a hook. Let's just grab the Sparrow's, Sparrow's short hook right here and see if we can't pop this puppy. I don't put too much stock into the lock itself. I don't know. I think it's just not wanting to rotate for me, honestly. But I could have overset it, so let's try that again. Because it is real crunchy and hard to turn. That's what I'm worried about, being able to rotate the core at all. You can see how much tension I'm putting on that. See, I feel like it's unlocked and it's just now. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, that's rough, man. But there you go. But yeah, that thing, like I said, even with the key. It's just real, real crunchy. There's a return spring in there, actually. I can feel it. But it's not enough to overcome the crunchiness in there. See, it barely wants to bring it back. 
It's just really, really cheap. But anyways, yeah, don't get any ideas next time you're in your uh, local uh, store, okay? Don't try messing with the lock. Uh, you will get in trouble, <laughs> right? Uh, purchase things. Life is much easier that way. <laughs> All right, so there it is. That is the Reliabilt, Reliabilt sliding panel lock. Uh, keep it legal, y'all. All right, stay safe out there. Remember, I told you on my last video, uh, my videos may start getting a little sporadic because I'm hoping to move soon. So uh, just uh, hang in there with me, all right? I'd appreciate it. Remember, if you're not subscribed yet, you need to do so because all the cool people are doing it. You don't want to be left out. Thank you. Mm -hmm.